Yeah, wait a minute. Oh, I broke one! Ah, ah, I broke another one! Hello everybody, it's Annie and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be celebrating yet another day of Vlogmas and today I am bringing to you a really cool recipe. So like with most of my Christmas themed recipes, I actually found these like a year or two ago, but I've just never done them. So this is the year that we're making them. And today we are starting with Grinch cookies. So these cookies are paleo, gluten-free, and AIP. Honestly, I have no idea what AIP is, but they sound pretty darn healthy and like a really good kind of wholesome holiday cookie. I just have a thing for making holiday cookies, so I thought I would share by trying out a new recipe. So that's what we're going to be doing today. We're making these really cute Grinch cookies. So they're basically a matcha cookie base that has a little, that's so they're gonna be green, and they have a cute little heart on them, you know, because how the Grinch's heart grows and <laughs> all that cute stuff. So the original recipe is from Unbound Wellness. I'm going to link them down below so you can check out the recipe. I'm just going to give like a quick overview and review of the cookies. So let us get started. I always forget which way I'm supposed to point. So these cookies are pretty easy. All you need to do is get some coconut flour, tapioca starch, maple syrup, coconut oil, vanilla extract, matcha powder, baking soda, and frosting. Uh, you also need beetroot powder to dye the frosting, but honestly, I went to like five different stores and I could not find it. And I found things that are similar, but they were like $20 and no offense, I'm not dropping $20 during Christmas time to use like one tablespoon of something. So I just used red food coloring. Red food coloring is okay. So basically what you need to do is preheat the oven and you're going to be combining the coconut flour tapioca and baking soda all together in a mixing bowl I sifted it together because that's what it says you have to do then you add the coconut oil maple syrup and vanilla until it becomes a wet kind of dough then you add in the matcha powder and mix until the dough is green and you have to add more matcha powder if needed from the dough into cookies it says you should have six or seven I got a little bit more than that but that's okay then you just bake the cookies for about ten minutes and then once they come out, this is where I messed up. It says that you're supposed to allow them to cool, otherwise they'll crumble, but as you can see, I totally tried to put them onto a cooling sheet because I got ahead myself. That's what I normally do with my cookies, I put them straight on a cookie sheet, and I done goofed with that one. They broke. Oh, I mean, I, oh, I broke one! Ah, ah, I broke another one! <gasps> oh no, I'm just gonna leave them on this. I'm not even gonna put them on there because I just broke like a whole Well, one. you gotta let them cool off before you start moving them. No, you move them right onto this. Really? Yeah. I don't know. Oh, no. I'm, like, I'm keeping them on this. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. I ain't risking no more of them. I thought you were supposed to let them like cool down. So then after the cookies have cooled, you just add a little bit of frosting and make a cute little heart. You can see I kind of like played around with the frosting color for a bit because I wanted it to be a little bit more natural to kind of match with the natural green of the matcha instead of having something bright. Um, so this is what I was left with. Let's try them out. All right, so this is the final result. We have six cookies because the other ones got crumbled and eaten. So you can see they're really nice, really green. And they got their cute little heart on them too. So we are going to try one. Bon appetit. So it's a very interesting cookie. The flavor is absolutely fantastic and spot on. Because it is AIP and paleo, it is a little bit dry. I feel it sticking to most of my mouth. But it tastes good. It definitely need, does need that frosting because of how dry it is though. But man, I'm not complaining. So those are the cookies. Uh, I really, really do like them. The first time that I tried them, I tried them when they were fresh out of the oven and I found that they were so dry that they just coated my mouth and stuck to my mouth and I did not like them. But then once I added the frosting and let them kind of sit for a bit, they really grew on me. I really have a thing for matcha and matcha flavored things, so I think that's also really what helped. But the fact that my entire family, including my dad who is Mr. Meat and Potatoes and like store-bought chemical filled chocolate chip cookies even enjoy them i was quite happy and i definitely think i'm going to be making these again so that's all that i have for you guys today i want to say thank you so so much for watching this episode of vlogmas feel free to like this video as well as comment down below you tell me what is aip what are your thoughts on matcha and baked goods because uh this is not the only one that we're doing with matcha let me know in the comments down below also feel free to subscribe to my channel so you can continue getting updates and other videos that are to come thank you so much for watching guys and i'll see you soon bye